Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Good morning, Hampton. Today's main news. We are celebrating Hampton School's class of 2023. It's really special to be a Hamptonian. Just the nicest people and just so enjoyable to spend every day with. As Hamptonians say goodbye to their school days, this stellar group of pupils look back on so many individual and group achievements. I think above all, I'll look back on the friends I've made and I'll treasure the memories I've made with them. Definitely look back with a lot of fond memories and how Hampton has shaped me as an individual. Of course, these Hamptonians have worked hard and leave with a world of opportunities ahead of them. But in true Hampton style, there have been plenty of smiles along the way. Good morning. Please stand. Good morning, boys. Lots to get through today. So over to Sam for the notices. No notices from me, miss. But remember... You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and miles from your last warm bed You just remember what your old pal said Well, the class of 2023 is uh, a unique one in my opinion. Uh, we're always looking out for each other um, and that's, that's always been really helpful to me. We're one big family. Whether it's in a classroom, on the sports pitch, we all are striving for everyone to be the best person they possibly can. I think that's a very, very special thing. A-level results day, the culmination of years of hard work and dedication and the end of a long, anxious wait. How are things looking over at Hampton today, Toby? Thank you, Ben. I'm delighted to confirm that it's great news here at Hampton. Hamptonians have achieved some wonderful results this year, confirming their places at some of the world's top universities. I got the grades I needed to go to um, Imperial College to study electrical engineering. Can't really be any happier than I am now, really. I'm delighted over the moon. It's my first choice, but luckily it was the result I was hoping for, so yeah, happy. Got my grades in this morning, really happy with them. Some great grades. It's exactly what I need to go doing medicine at Bristol now. I got A star, A star B this morning, and I'm really, really happy. I'm off to do um, geography at Manchester. Got the grades I need for Exeter University. I'm doing economics there, and I can't wait to get started. One of the best memories of the year has to be the Under-18 English Schools FA Cup Final, the most prestigious schools football tournament. Final day saw Hampton face Shrewsbury School. Over to Dan and the Hampton Hopefuls. Thank you. You join me here at Hampton on S for Final Day. The whole school is buzzing. Over 700 supporters are heading up to Stoke to get behind the first 11. Come on, Hampton! <laughs> Espo was amazing, the fans were absolutely amazing and yeah, it was one of the best days of my life. The main thing I noticed as we stepped out was the noise, you know, the crowds. <laughs> to know that all the support is just for us, you do almost feel like a celebrity. It is Shrewsbury School taking on Hampton School. Within the first five minutes or so, we managed to get ourselves that first goal. There's a man in the centre too, there's a couple. The toe forward here, back to Wilson. It's a chance here and it's in! Ben Robinson, such great work on the counter-attack! I've got to think about what Mr Burke and Mr Ritchie were telling me weeks before the game, low and far, in the bottom corner. It was a screamer, but I think looking back as a team goal, yeah. I think there was a total of like 13 passes, a brilliant start. Hampton celebrate! And with just five minutes played, they're a goal to the good. It was kind of at that point, you felt everything shift in our direction and you felt like uh, it could be our day. Regarding Josh King's goal, he's definitely one of the fan favourites, so they're expecting something special. Forward again, and after it here is Wilson. Challenge from the defender, allowed to continue here. Soon he'll have to. And with the finishing touch, the substitute, Josh King off the bench. And cue the celebrations galore again. Shrewsbury came back fighting, scoring immediately at the start of the second half. 
But Alex de Socho is waiting in the wings. Alex de Socho's goal, oh man, it was so brilliant. Oh, that one's allowed to run all the way through and it might prove to be a problem here from the Shrewsbury back line, twisting, turning, trying to get the strike away. And it's in from de Socio. That bit of Italian magic. It's the substitute, Alex de Socio. Hampton restore their two goal lead. When the final whistle blew. There the referee calls time. I mean, I was just ecstatic. I thought it was Krakatoa in 1883, the way that Stoke City Stadium erupted. Hampton can celebrate. It was electric. You could just see the happiness on everyone's face in the stand. My mind immediately went to, right, I get to lift the trophy. That's something you kind of go to sleep dreaming about. Let the celebrations begin. Hampton, the crown champions of the 2023 Boys Under 18 Schools Cup Final. It was a fantastic feeling to win on a personal level, but even better feeling to know that you've delivered on something for the whole school and the whole community. Wow, what a match and what a great Hampton community occasion. It was great to see the first 11 take home the 2023 Essen Trophy. And what a day for the upper six as they finish their time here at Hampton. Alongside football, it was a superb year for Hampton sport. It's been a great season with a great win at Bedford Regatta and strong results at Nat Schools and Henley as well as Schools Head. I just want to say thank you to the whole squad, including the rowers and the coaches, for making it such a memorable year. Cricket at Hampton is fantastic, you know. We've had lots of great individual performances and team wins in the summer, playing it every Saturday with your mates and just making memories as a team and team performances is always, for me, the best highlight. The standard at Hampton is, is top class because we finished top 10 uh, overall in next gen rankings, top 4 at St Joe's, top 12 at International Roslyn Park 7s and ultimately it's just been enjoyable to, to play with my mates for, for seven odd years, playing on the perfect fields every week in the perfect facilities as well as gaining a great education. As well as excellence in the sporting arena, Hamptonians excelled in the performing arts with many standout musical and drama performances. James, over to you. Thank you, Ben. You join me as the 2023 Leavers concert is about to begin. The culmination of an exceptional era of music makers, a year group which has starred in multiple music and drama performances. Take it away, boys. Hampton Music Department has been really important to me. The highlight for me this year, definitely the winter concert where I played a violin concerto. It was Sanson's introduction of Rondo Capriccioso and it's known as a very hard and challenging piece of the violin. It meant so much to me, yeah. Playing with a huge orchestra, playing my dream piece. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, really. It's a lot of fun, first of all, uh, the performing arts scene at Hampton. And looking back, being involved in the lower school musicals like Oliver and The Wizard of Oz, to more recently, a couple of years ago, doing Guys and Dolls, uh, and then Legally Blonde with L.E.H. So much fun, so much energy and excitement. And also just that feeling of being on stage in front of people is such an awesome feeling. It's a massive part of my time at Hampton. There's something that stands out in particular to me, which is my trip to the Edinburgh Fringe with the Voice of Lions. There I was performing in front of 200 people in a church in Edinburgh with all my best mates standing right next to me. When we performed Near My God to Thee with Johnny doing his solo, it was just incredible. It was like the whole, the whole world stopped. You could 
feel it in the room. Everyone was had goosebumps. The power that we had in that church was just incredible. I mean, as school choirs go, I think it's, it's something that's quite special and unique to Hampton. Trips are definitely among the highlights of school life. There are around 50 trips a year at Hampton. Destinations range from Slapton Sands with the geography department to much further afield, as we can find out from Hugo. Thank you, Ben. You're joining us over 7,000 miles away on the Malaysian islands of Borneo. 24 sixth formers from Hampton and LEH have been spending three weeks out here. We've been climbing Mount Kinabalu, helping local schools, and checking through the jungle as well. And right now we're doing some scuba diving, as you can see. Let's see how it goes. Borneo was just the most amazing trip, honestly. We started out, we went over to the jungle and we were helping out building at a local primary school, spending nights in the jungle. And then we trekked around a bit, got on a coach and saw lots of beautiful parts of the country. We're on boats along the river, climbing up Mount Kinabalu. We're climbing up Mount Kinabalu at the moment. We're just about over halfway. Pouring with rain, it's been worse than this, but going well, I think we're about to keep moving and it's going well and ending on the beach. We're on a beach, Malaysian island of Borneo, it's great. And even seeing some of the locals doing fire breathing on the beach was amazing as well. I have to say it was the trip of a lifetime. Over the three weeks made some really, really strong friendships and had some amazing experiences. It was simply phenomenal. Every school year group has its defining characteristics and where better to learn more about the class of 2023 than in the Hampton School Diary Room. Who's most likely to become Prime Minister? Mm. That's a tough one. Ollie, Ollie Lysett. Ollie Ollie Lysett, Lysett. Yeah. Yeah. Ollie Lysett surely. Oh, that's Ollie Lysett. That's an easy one. Well, we're looking at him, we're looking at him. Let me raise you on Cameron Marshall. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. And then Cameron Marshall. Yeah, Ollie yeah. 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 Lysett. He's got it all. Assembly, good morning. Yeah. Please stand. It's, it's got to be Lysett. He's the sort of guy who would yeah. just seek that authority. Yeah. The way he talks, the, the way he presents yeah. himself. Heard he hangs around the uh, Houses of Parliament. One candidate, not sure if I'd vote for him, but Cameron Marshall. He's a very aspirational kind of guy. Very well spoken, well mannered. I mean, he's not my vote, but if you think about the UK in general, mm. Oli Lysett, 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 I think that, that's going to be the future Conservative leadership race. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to see. Who would you go to for advice? What a deep question. That is deep. <laughs> that is deep. I mean, you need someone with like a clear head. Just mm. someone who yeah. you really trust. Who's wise? Probably Toby. Toby. Yeah, Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby Gwynn. Yeah. Very wise man. Yeah. He knows a lot. <laughs> Toby. Definitely Toby Gwynn. I feel like I'd go to Toby. I thought Nick Allen is always a good source of advice. Nick Allen. He always gives you good, good tips and tricks. If it's like general life advice, I'm saying like Nick Allen. He's, a lo he's knowledgeable as well. Dan Townend. I feel like Dan Townend always has good advice. Yeah. He looks like, like a sage, yeah. wise yeah. man. Dan Townend is a Townend, yeah. He's a wise, he's, he's a, a wise, wise guy. Accent my first. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, he's such a character. Since, yeah. Accent my third. He's always got some good advice. So. Yeah, when I get into any hairy situations, you know, you just put it straight to them. Mine's the only thing is Accent my third. Who is the most stylish, suited and booted Hamptonian? Outside of this room. Dark day. Hard to say. I mean, you No. It's me. No. It's me. No. The fashion here might be a bit limited. <laughs> I mean, there's some shambolic suits there, aren't there? Adam Shazad, always coming with a new colour suit. Adam Shazad has some pretty interesting suits. Always with his wacky suit. Yeah, yeah. Adam Shazad, he's got a great taste in suits. Eight suits. If I'm not getting this award, <laughs> I'm angry. Viduna's got the oh, green one. Green suit, yes. That's it, it's easy, Viduna. Viduna with a green suit. That's got to be Viduna. He's yeah. the first guy with a green suit at school. Vid's green suit started lower six strong. Stylish. I would say me. We're done here, but do now. <laughs> Next question. Who made the biggest sporting comeback? Mm. My sporting career has gone down. Yeah, so it's not me. Looking at him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it's you. Kyle Tony. 
Kai, oh yeah. C team's first mm. 11. Yeah. I think it's got to be Kai and so. Yeah, Kai and so. C team in third year or something. Yeah. yeah. So, he has the final. final. As vice captain as well. As, as vice captain, captain yeah. yeah. And he played really well. C yeah. team to winning Esther. Wow. Unbelievable. Steve Lamming. What a comeback from him. Humble beginnings. Steve Lamming. Yeah. He started first year in the A's, dropped down all the way to the third, come like third, fourth, fifth year, and then had this massive shredding shredding throughout lockdown and came back wham. I did the opposite in lockdown. Same as We're done. Yeah. As the class of 2023 embarks on the next chapters of their lives, we wish them all the very best. You have been an inspirational year group and your school days will provide many fond memories to look back on. Remember, once a Hamptonian, always a Hamptonian. <laughs>Thank you for everything, you know, from the teachers to the ground staff. Thank you so much for making this place so special. I'm going to miss I think everything about Hampton life. Um, you know, I'm already feeling really nostalgic. It's been a memorable seven years. I know a few people, they always say they don't enjoy coming into school, but for me, I was looking forward to it every day. See the people, the teachers, and just learn as well. I'm saying you've got a friend in me. I really enjoyed coming here, I couldn't say a bad word. I think I'm going to miss the people the most, whether that is just the jokers in your class, um, your mates, the legends around the place. I feel so honoured to have come to this school. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Hampton's been a wonderful place, absolutely amazing. Every single person here made my Hampton experience what it was. It's been so much fun. Everybody has the chance to excel in what they want to do. It's just been a really, really great experience and I've loved my time at Hampton, I really have. It's just an absolutely massive thank you. Like the school has made me who I am today.